From a grandfather who used his own body to protect loved ones from bullets to people forced to play dead as they watched a gunman fire shots. Heartbreaking stories emerging from the two mass shootings over the weekend as we learn more about the 31 people killed. Tonight, crosses pay tribute to the lives lost in El Paso, Texas. That shooting, according to the Anti-Defamation League, was the deadliest attack by a white supremacist in this country in half a century. CBS 2's Valerie Castro begins our covers tonight on this. Valerie. Maurice, some of those victims continue to recover in the hospital. Others have passed away, unable to survive their injuries. Stories of heroism continue to emerge, while the heartache over those lost is widespread. My mom and my daughter wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him and what he did. Stephanie Melinda says it was her father, David Johnson, who saved the life of her nine-year-old daughter and her mother when he shielded them with his own body at the El Paso Walmart Saturday. He just turned 63. We had just celebrated his birthday. Johnson is one of the 22 killed when a gunman stormed the shopping center. Some hid during the chaos, but Maribel Latine found herself facing the shooter as she stood outside Walmart with her daughter's soccer team for a fundraiser selling lemonade. I had to pretend I was dead, and he was right next to me. Latine was shot twice and is now recovering in the hospital after Ray Garcia pulled her to safety along with her daughter and other teammates. I got him out of the scene, came back for one of the moms. Her name's uh, Maribel. She was shot in her legs. She couldn't walk. Uh, we got her out with, a, uh, with the, one of the grocery carts. In Dayton, Ohio, where nine people were killed less than 24 hours later. <laughs> New videos showed the chaos as bar patrons took cover when the shots were fired. Hearing a weapon fired like that, in succession like that, and you don't know where it's coming from, like literally running for your life. The shooters, Patrick Crucius in Texas and Connor Betts in Ohio, who also killed his sister in the shooting, were both armed with high-powered Army assault weapons. Crucius had an online hate manifesto. Betts had minimal run-ins with the law, but was suspended in high school because of a supposed hit list. Inevitably, anxiety is brought on by news of these events affecting all ages. Lifestyle coach Carl Romain says as an adult, you should step away from the constant coverage. Whether it's social media or TV, just shut it off for a little bit. It's going to be there when you get back, but give yourself a break, a mental break. You know, recharge yourself. There have now been 255 mass shootings in the U.S. this year, according to Gun Violence Archive a not-for-profit group that tracks those figures. Maurice. Astonishing. Valerie, thank you.